How's it going, people? Salmon Slabber here, and this is the Max Progress Update video. Good times. So, last week I did say I'd be going construction and dungeoneering this month. That was my goal. I'd get those 299, that would leave me with Slayer, Summoning, Thieving, and Hunter left to level. Which isn't all that bad, it's about 35 levels for all four of those to max, so yeah. Pretty fast skills left, good times. And. I also checked up the RuneScape Law 3 last week as well, as well as the Inferno Ads, which is a nice surprise. It did take me quite a few months to get our Inferno Ads, but there we go, that's now up, good times. Uh, so what have I actually been doing? So for the past week, uh, besides making those videos, uh, I now have 99 construction. Yeah, that was pretty rabid. And it's got to be said, the fact that the last skills I've been leveling was stuff like agility, and mining and room crafting you know the immensely slow ones that just take absolutely ages and then moving on to construction where it's like 300 plus k an hour it's kind of a shock it's quite nice actually <laughs> I'm not actually spending all of my time just doing construction but yeah that took no time at all so construction's now maxed good times never have to touch that again uh, they are going to be bringing out the construction we work, which I'm kind of interested in seeing because I probably just lost myself like 60 mil, which would be quite a shame, got to be said. And the other one I was going to be leveling is Dungeoneering. So I did ask you guys for help on that. If anyone fancy Dungeoneering, jump into faction chat, well, friends chat even. And well, you don't really need 20 more because I'm 99 Dungeoneering as well. <laughs> so uh, yeah. It's been a week, I got 299s, and I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do for the rest of the month. So as you can see, I'm at Saradomin, because that was the only thing that came to mind. So I'm now just up in God Wars, poking Saradomin in the eye, pretty much. Hopefully, get some jobs, make some money back from my construction, as I'm sure I'll be needing some more cash for the summoning, because that is probably going to set me back quite a chunk of cash, unfortunately. So yeah, there's that. So that's both of the 99s aimed for this month already done, shockingly enough. Uh, I didn't do it five man, I was doing it solo and duo, and occasionally when it was up to like the rushes and the abandoned twos, I got a bunch of people to come along that needed those floors finished and we did larges and things like that. So yeah, all in all, pretty good. For the most part it was duo though, and that was say 200k plus an hour. So I can't really fold it. I did try five man in it. I went into the dungeoneering world, randomly shouted, tried getting people to join. I was doing large occults and warped. And it was just terrible. I'd done it a couple of times and it's like not once did I have a decent team. So yeah. It was like 25, 30 minutes a floor for large and it's only what, 80, 100k XP per floor with a five man large. And then I could simply go on to meds with the duo, finish it in 10 minutes and get 40k. So it's like, yeah, um, not really sure. Not really worth it, especially seeing as everyone seems to be spastics. And the worst point is, is most of the people I was joining up with were like low level skill wise, but they had high dungeon even, so it was pretty much my job to run around bank forward, open it up every single skill door. No one seemed to be capable of pathing, which kind of sucked balls. So yeah, I joined up with a buddy in my clan called Enbu, and he came along and we pretty much drew the entire thing. On a side note though, additionally, my mate Athkatlia, if you remember saying like, he was close to comp, well, after uploading Salt in the Wound, which was the last quest he needed, he now has the comp cape. So yeah, there's that. That's pretty massive, gotta be said. So he's beaten me, unfortunately, motherfucker. So. Basically, my only contender now is to try and beat Pigeon. Me as well. Sounds like a laugh. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I got those 299s. I've absolutely no idea what the hell I'm going to do. I'm thinking thieving. But I'm not sure because thieving is thieving. So, yeah, there's that. Um, probably playing my plunder, I would have thought. I'll probably try and get the rest of the um, Ibis set. I've got a hat. And according to the wiki, at least, apparently it affects XP everywhere as long as the XP drop isn't over 700. So it should work in Pyramid Plunder on, I think, up to floor 81. Because I think 91 plus gives you over 700 per drop, so yeah. 
It's not going to be massively useful, but it's useful nonetheless, I guess. On top of that, on the side, I did a bit of hunting. And I've now got the advanced yak tree stick. I don't know how many of you actually know about it, but it's part of that charm sprites thing they modded the other day. Uh, basically, if you go up to like the backside entrance to the elven lands is after, then you'll find a little gnome there, and you can catch these little charm sprite things. Once you've caught a thousand of them, you can upgrade the yak tree stick, which is what you need to catch those charm sprites. And once it's made into an advanced Jack T Swick, you gain 5% bonus XP in hunting. So yeah, I thought that was worth going, so I caught a thousand of them, and it's a requirement for the comp cape anyway, so it's kind of two birds, one stone. And I've now got that, so Hunter should speed up a little bit. So even if I'm only going like 100k an hour, or 150k an hour, something like that on Hunter, it's still 5% bonus, which will bump it up a little bit. Not massively, but it's still a bump. And that should speed it up a little, I hope, because Hunter, I'm not looking forward to. And again, I'm not looking forward to thieving, let's be honest. And then the other ones I got left is Slayer and Summoning. Well, conveniently enough, they've now added the Ascension Dungeon, and that's 95 Slayer. And I'm 94. So, one more level, I can go in and kill the bosses in there, see if I can get myself an Ascension Crossbow, which I think would be pretty fucking awesome. Although, to be totally honest, I'd be quite tempted to sell it. <laughs> But then again, I'm going to have quite a few tasks going from 95, well, 94 to 99. So I will most likely be going in there multiple times, and you never know. Should make some decent cash, though, hopefully, because that is the new Slayer thing, and the keys, I think, are still going for roughly a mil. So that is a bit of chunky cash in my pocket. So whether or not I do Slayer next or Thieving, I, just, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. Gotta be said. Uh. News though, coming up this week, uh, Friday, hang on, let's see what I got. Right, so pre-recorded, because I did go a bit mental while I had nothing to do, I currently have part of an agility guide up, well, mid-made. Uh, I also have the RD Easy, Med, Hard and Elite tasks all recorded. They just need to be sorted, maybe they go up this week. I've also got back to my roots, Cannibal Construction. Uh, Kenneth's concerns and meeting history complete. So yeah, that's all the footage I got. Which one I'm going to chuck up, I don't know. Uh, I was kind of tempted to do RuneScape lore episode 4. And the reason for that is because it's the second age. And as you know, lots of shit goes down in the second age. So I was kind of tempted to chuck up like an overview for episode 4. Just give you like the highlights of what happens during the second age. And then go into episode 4.1 to go from the perspective of each of the players involved in the second age, which I think would be pretty cool. Will take a bit of work, but I think it'd be pretty awesome, gotta be said. So I might do that if I've got some spare time. That might happen. So it could maybe be RuneScape Law, are the easy tasks, RuneScape Law, are the hard tasks, or med tasks, then the quest guide, then Law. Then hard tasks, maybe? I don't know. I haven't decided. So, in the meantime, I'm just going to do a bit of bossing, because I really don't want to start on thieving, because I don't want to. Because thieving sucks balls. So, yeah, that's going to happen. Um, probably, well, for whatever happens, even if I don't do the 4.1 and everything all this week, uh, the next episode of Moonscape Law will be up. So, yeah. You can always look forward to that. That's coming. Uh, the quest, I'll probably check up Kenneth's concerns next, as that's actually a prerequisite for Salt in the Wound. The only reason why I uploaded Salt in the Wound last Friday was simply because Ask Catelyn needed it for his comp cape. So I thought I'd check it up for him. By the way, if anyone else has requests for quests and stuff, or guides or whatever else you want, then feel free to just drop me a comment and I'll see if I can get it done. Because right now, I don't really have a massive amount on my plate other than trying to get 99 in thieving, I would have thought. So yeah, any distractions welcome. In fact, please give me something to make a guide on. <laughs> so yeah, there's a, um, I'm pretty much done. Hunter, thieving, slayer and summoning, that's all that's left. Four more to go for the max cape. Which is kind of surprising, because in December I was about 14 skills off, so yeah. That is quite nice to see, gotta be said. Didn't think I'd actually get this close. 
So the question is now, can I get Max Cape before Divination comes out? Hmm. Oh, and on that note, uh, I don't know how many of you actually know, but Divination is supposed to be the brand new gathering skill. And they did mention they're going to be chucking out the second one, so yeah. I would have thought that the gathering skill comes first, because that's logical, because if they brought out the production and there was no way to get any of the materials needed for it, it'd be kind of pointless to add. So yeah, logically, makes sense. It's something to do with the gods, no idea what though. Um, could very well be something like collecting butterflies like you did for World Wakes after World Wakes when they did that little Cathixian butterfly memory thing. You never know. Could be something like that. Could be completely different. I haven't got a clue. There's absolutely no information on it whatsoever. I've looked about even on like like rumor boards and stuff like that to see if anyone's got any small bits of information. But I honestly can't find any. That is literally the only info I actually have. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um they did just bring out the Trixillion key, was it? I think it's a Trixillion key. Uh basically you'll start getting key pieces randomly while you're doing stuff, like killing high levels, things like that. Uh high level skilling. And once you've got three parts of this key, you can put them together and it will make the Triskelion key. So with that, once you've actually finally got that key, you can then click on it kind of like a elite clue scroll and it'll point you in a general direction, it'll tell you how close you are to it. And basically you then gotta find the cache or the chest. And as soon as you open up the chest, there's a bunch of rewards in there. They don't specify everything. It does seem to be similar to clues kind of thing, so a bit of clue items, armors, things like that. On top of that, you do get the brand new armor, which is free to play as well as pay to play. It's level 50, it's a full set, and it is hybrid gear. So yeah, that's something new. New high level gear for free to play pretty much, which is quite nice, gotta be said. So yeah, I'm not sure how hard this is to get. I haven't actually seen any other pieces yet, but then again, I have been doing Dungeoneering, so I wouldn't really expect to. So yeah, if you find a piece, tell me about it. Have you managed to get the key? What have you got out of the chest? I'm interested to find out. But yeah, the Triskelion Treasures is supposedly coming next week. Well, actually, in their words, coming to RuneScape very soon. So yeah, there we go. So that is coming probably today, maybe tomorrow, I would have thought and maybe sometime if we're lucky probably next month I would have thought the new dwarf quest which if it does come out I'll be doing that on release and I'll be chucking up the guide for you lots same as usual so you can get your quest capes and stuff back straight away so there we go that is pretty much it that is everything you need to know about what the hell I've been doing this week yeah ugh oh, thieving now I gotta move on to thieving god damn it so yeah with that said I hope you all enjoyed and I will catch you all later. Fucking thieving. Oh my god.